most suited to switch out on a stretch four to be able to guard down on the perimeter and uh, and does a great job with help defense and covering up for uh, his teammates defensive mistake for Carolina Dayron Sharp will step into the starting lineup in Garrison Brooks's spot we will obviously now probably see more of Walker Kessler over the night as Caleb Love knocks down a three Nate Leshevsky one of the most improved players in the league this year Notre Dame and North Carolina did meet once during the regular season as Hub knocks down a three. Notre Dame was supposed to go to Pittsburgh, but the Panthers were having COVID issues. Carolina was available, and they moved a later game up to January the 2nd, and then Notre Dame went to Pittsburgh later on. Remember when we first saw him? He was at UConn. Yep. We were in Maui, and remember Kevin Ollie saying he's going to be a pro. Sharp spins around Durham and lays it in. You can just send body after body at Durham, and... You know, he could have picked up a foul there. Obviously, it wasn't a foul, but could have picked up one. And you know, Dayron Sharp, it, it, these guys are already playing volleyball on the backboards. And just a few. Just about any rebounding stat you can find, they're right up there near or at the top. Yeah, their offensive rebounding, they're number one in the country. Second is Houston. Look at me when you said talking head. <laughs> <laughs> Loose ball down to Leaky Black, and then he dribbled it off of Baycott's foot. And Leshevsky is there for the easy two. I'll get blamed. Your feet are too big. <laughs> that wasn't Leaky Black's fault. Eventually, Walt misses a great look for a three. Good pass. Well, you saw some skills. Baycott leading the break. The last few weeks, and again with the Garrison of Brooks, unable to go, it seems, tonight because of the ankle injury. Kessler's minutes will increase. Oh. Seventh offensive rebound of the game already for Carolina. How about the presence of mind to throw that pass under to Walker Kessler? And <laughs> Brennan's up said, big fella, this is how you do it with the left hand. Here in second round action, beautiful pass from Hub into Lashevsk. Beautiful, fake oh, a shot, man. draw a couple. Two beautiful passes in a row at both ends. Notre Dame as Love gets to the bucket. Remember the ACC all-freshman team? R.J. Davis, another member of the freshman class, rises up for the shot. Not there. Another offensive rebound. This time it's Baycott. Well, Dayron Sharp is the best offensive rebounder on this team, but Armando Baycott not far behind. He just gets he gets just about three offensive rebounds a game. You want to know statistically what the rebounding can do? Carolina's now taken 21 shots. Make it 22. Carolina's taken 22 shots. And another one. This is crazy. North Carolina's got 14 offensive rebounds. Notre Dame's got four defensive rebounds. Yeah, there's just been more fight on the glass by North Carolina, but the other part of it is North Carolina's just bigger and good pass. And a block by Kessler, and another block by Kessler. And, uh, and he definitely wants to play at a fast pace, always has. And his team's put a ton of pressure on opponents, not only with their... their primary break but their secondary break and North Carolina is getting the ball inside to them and that will loosen up things on the perimeter if, if there's ever a double team they can throw it back out Love and Davis and all freshman backcourt sharp back in there spins around Durham and lays it in he doubled and there wouldn't be any weak side help waiting on him and just made a nice spin move showing those terrific feet Durham on the follow Davis for three. Really good ball movement against the zone. And he's got a, a good looking shot. Ryan with a shot fake and a drive and another rejection this time by Baycott. The Irish almost took out Kentucky. Yeah. They had a shot to win the game. And I believe the Elite Eight. Yes. Sharp inside again. He's just too strong. But strong on the three by Prentice Hub. Sharp, the first big guy down. Love goes end to end. A year ago, when everything came to a screeching halt, you and I were standing on the court, getting ready to do a Florida State-Clemson game. The teams had come out, were warming up. You had those 27 offensive rebounds. I, I thought Terry Holland might still be the coach. I've received some text messages from several former Virginia players. In a related story, nobody, <laughs> nobody's texted me because apparently I got the lacrosse hockey thing right. So I will be welcomed at the border on Sunday.
Uh, Virginia went to the Final Four in 84 after Ralph Sampson had graduated. And you'll hear Corey Alexander tomorrow for the day session along with Sean McDonough. He's with Sean McDonough. You're not going to hear him. <laughs> another offensive rebound and another putback for the Heels. And has been the story of the game. 16 offensive rebounds, 15 second chance points, and a seven footer with a steal and going to the other end to lay it in. Another turnover. Love no, and Ryan down with the rebound, and now the Irish have a three on one. Goodwin lays it in. Looked like he got hit as well. Nearly as many. Uh, people here on site as there were last year. A lot of people are broadcasting remotely or with smaller crews here as both he and RJ Davis are, are doing a much better job of taking care of the ball, taking better shots. Uh, but he's still learning uh, the point guard position. It's the first time he's ever played point and at North Carolina you're responsible. Maybe it was a Virginia Tech game. It's hard to keep track, but it was a, they had a COVID cancellation. So Marquette comes down to Chapel Hill and beats him. Then Carolina beats Florida State only to turn around and lose. Got a switch. Got a mismatch down low. And it'll go on the second attempt for Durham. Roy Williams on the other side, guys, for UNC said he knew coming in that they would have a size and depth advantage even without Garrison Brooks. Really pleased with the way they've been able to take advantage of that in the first half. They have to continue to do it on both ends of the court. As we mentioned in the first half, just playing so much better and has been so much more of an impact for the Heels the last few weeks. Carolina screened Leshevsky and gave Armando Baycott just a little bit more time to establish that low post position. A long three for Trey Wirtz, his first points of the night. It's young talent, yep. and especially young guards. And early on in the season, a lot of the mistakes that North Carolina were making were coming, frankly, from the guard position. Dribble into a jump shot, that just wasn't going to happen. Jay Kessler's got four blocks already in this game. Jump hook will go. He is a joke, man. Armando Bacon with eight offensive rebounds in this game right now. Nice turnaround by Sharp. Yeah, you're, you're, because that, that, that really allowed Carolina to move away from Notre Dame when Notre Dame had a chance to really cut into this lead and make it a, you know, get it down to 10. Apparently the only be began recording offensive rebounds. These kinds of records were told in 1985. Andrew Playtech getting in on the action. Sharp pass, my goodness. And Baycott just with enough strength to rip right through the foul and lay it in. I wonder though, we'll keep an eye on the shoes tomorrow because Roy is might be just as superstitious. The superstition runs that if they don't play well or lose, he doesn't wear it again. Okay. Like that, that that's why I think that was sort of the sport coat rule or the suit rule. You know, the general public realizes how isolated the players have been. How they're, whether it's in a dorm or a hotel, and they're often not even allowed to eat together. They have... Picking up the phone to make sure there's a dial tone. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh man. Order final Thursday at the ACC tournament tomorrow. Walton for three. Wow. That's his first one, I think. Close the elevator as you go through, elevator doors as you go through it. Another block for Kessler. That's at least five right now for Walker Kessler. Carolina's on a 24, make it a 26. Kessler adds to his totals with his ninth rebound. Pre-pandemic, if you got to 100 in the Smith Center, didn't you get, like, a biscuit or something? <laughs> I thought you got a biscuit. And Wurtz was a... He averaged about 12 a game or so. Shot over 40% from three. The uh, beat goes on. The NCAA gave everybody a free year. He had the opportunity to play. Man, Kessler's having some kind of a night. E.J. Smith is into the game now for Carolina. The son of Kenny the Jet Smith. Walker Miller with the ball. Number 22. And also in is Ryan McAdoo. And Redshirt Jr., who is the son of Bob McAdoo. And he's a, he is a good player, good point guard. Wow. Sterling Manley, a redshirt junior from Pickerington, Ohio. He's have taken that away.
And a three for Tony Sanders. With what, what was it, 16 minutes to go, Something give or take? Like and it, yeah, it was 59 47 at that moment. Really remarkable the, the turnaround. I'd send that into the league and complain. <laughs> John McDonough, Corey Alexander will have the day games for you. Onward and upward they hope. What an impressive performance by the Tar Heels tonight. So we are down to eight. Four quarterfinals coming your way.